Hey guys, this is Christy from NippyFish.net and NippyFish A Better Blog. So I thought I would give a video blog a try uh, instead of doing the typical blog that I normally do written out, uh, which is located at NippyFish.blogspot.com. And I thought it might be fun to try this different approach because I find myself looking at more and more video blogs online for information, and so I thought maybe some of our readers would like that too. Um, as you know, I started nippyfish.net several years ago uh, as a place to provide up-to-date information on betta fish keeping, specifically of betta splendens or Siamese fighting fish. Um, well, the site has taken off completely, and we get so many reader emails that I had to start Nippy Fish a Better Blog, which I started a few years ago now, and that's also been very successful. And I use that as primarily to answer reader emails, but also uh, to put product reviews up and uh, just up-to-date uh, information about betta fish. And so here we are. I'm going to give my very first video blog a try, and I apologize if it totally stinks because I've never done this before, but we'll give it a shot. And um, Basically today I'm just going to read to you one of our reader emails and answer it as best I can, and hopefully it'll provide some good information to everybody who's been checking out nippyfish.net and nippyfish about a blog. Um, this email here, which I'm reading, uh, comes from PM, and as you guys probably have noticed if you've read the blog before, I always refer to people by their initials, and I just do that because some people don't really want their name all over the web, and I can respect that, you know, so um, we'll just go by initials like we always do. So PM writes, Hi Christy, thank you so much for posting a lot of useful information online. I just got my betta fish a week ago and have been following your advice. He's doing quite well. I have questions about my betta and would be very and would very appreciate if you could get back to me. Number one, I bought an Eclipse 3 system, a three gallon tank with filter. I'm wondering how often should I change the water and how much water should be taken out. Also, should I take my betta out of the tank before cleaning or just leave him in the tank? That's a really good question. And a that a, th a three gallon eclipse system is very middle of the line, a great starter tank for people just getting started with bettas. It's perfect for one fish. And the thing about three gallon tank is you can really go two ways. Um, you could do 100% water changes and that would be fine because it's small enough to manage. Or you could go and cycle it. Um, basically what you're doing if you cycle a tank is you're allowing the bacteria that live naturally in the water to grow and multiply and consume the fish waste as it's being produced so really tank cycling is the preferred method it creates a more stable environment and basically uh, basically creates a complete ecosystem in an aquarium and so that's a really great way to go too and because you have a three gallon you can kind of do it either way um, if you end up cycling your tank what you'll probably want to do is change about 10 to 20 percent of the water each week in order to maintain it. And uh, if you decide to go with 100 percent water changes, then you'll need to change all the water out uh, with some regularity. And how often exactly that is depends on your setup. It depends on the fish itself, how much waste that particular fish produces, the type of food you're feeding, how much food you're feeding. Uh, it could also depend on if you have plants in the tank, if they're healthy, if they're sick. You know, there's a lot of different factors that determine just how often you need to change your aquarium water. So visiting those websites that tell you you need to change your tank water every five days or every seven days, you know, really they're not taking into account all the specific parameters that affect your particular aquarium. So what I tell people is buy an ammonia test kit and test your water every day and when it starts to show ammonia, ammonia on whatever day that is, it's too long. So suppose you test your water every day and you go nine days and on the ninth day you see, oh look I've got some trace amounts of ammonia showing up in my aquarium. So now you know, okay every eight days I need to change my tank water. So always keep it one day, at least one day less than how long it takes to show ammonia. And, and repeat the test from time to time because sometimes factors will affect exactly how fast ammonia does build in your tank. Like I said, you might change your betta food or you may, your betta might be eating more and you may find that he um, produces waste more and thus ammonia builds more. So repeat the test from time to time and um, then you'll know exactly how long you can go between uh, water changes. The second question 
in this email is i have been feeding my betta with hikari bio gold pellets i feed him one to two pellets per day i'm not sure if i'm feeding him a proper amount or underfeeding him well i think one to two pellets per day is probably a little too low um you know i typically tell people to do about two to three pellets in the morning and then repeat two to three pellets in the evening and see how your betta does kind of watch him and see if he does well uh, bettas that are overfed will bloat, and you'll notice that they get really swollen in the abdomen, particularly males. Females sometimes will show some swelling in the abdomen anyway if they have eggs, but with males, they'll, they'll poof right up, you know, when they eat too much. So you know that they're being overfed. But, you know, typically six pellets a day is not is fine. So give it a try. You might even move up to eight. You know, I wouldn't typically do more than ten pellets a day, splitting it up, you know, five in the morning, five in the afternoon. Um, if your betta isn't bloating at that, then it's probably fine. But if he gets poofy in that abdomen area, then you know he's it's too much. But I think one to two pellets is probably a little too low. So you can increase that a bit. Uh, the third part of the question is, my betta fish is relatively small, about one and a third inch long without tails. Is he normal? Yeah, I'd say your betta is normal, um, one to three inches, one and a third inches, excuse me, is uh, pretty normal for a betta fish. Um, I've noticed that these days, bettas seem to be younger and younger in the store. Uh, several years ago, it used to be the opposite. Bettas could be a year old by the time you purchased them at a store, and they were typically completely full grown. But for some reason, and I don't know if this is just in the U.S. or if this is worldwide, but here in the U.S., I've noticed that they seem to be younger. And it might just be that there are more betta breeders in the market now. But it's not at all uncommon to get a fish that isn't quite full grown yet at the fish store. So take your bed at home and uh, watch him grow. I mean, he'll probably grow a little bit more over the next several months and we'll get up to about two, two and a half inches probably, um, you know, in the next several months or so. So it's totally normal. I wouldn't worry anything about it at all.